What's up guys, we're back here on Cold War Zombies, and today we're going to be getting the Swiss K Dark Aether. Now, this is on my list of painful grinds that I still have to do. Really quick, let's look at the camos I got to get done. 2,500 kills with it, 2,500 crits, 2,500 pack-a-punch kills, special elite. Okay, so this is looking normal. No no funny business. And I already have 14 kills with it, so uh, that, that definitely takes out a huge chunk of what I got to get done. Well, let's go ahead and make a Zombies build for this thing. I think I'm going to go with a Cobra Red Dot, the Stabilizer, because I don't want to get rid of any of my movement movement is very important in zombies the tiger team because it increases our fire rate damage and bullet velocity ember sighting point because we can we'll get the bruiser grip on it nine round fast mag works for me we'll just get the serpent wrap for this one and the raider stock works fine too let's change our reticle to this and i think we're good now what field upgrade should i go with for a sniper i think frenzied guard is good Let's just go with that. And since it's the best map for grinding camos, the top on fire base C. All right, twins letting us in here. <laughs> Why am I holding a shotgun? That's not my class. There we go. Now we have the right weapon. ADS doesn't seem too bad. Ooh. One thing I know for sure, this is not going to be nearly as bad as the ZRG was. I just got to really make sure I'm going for my crits because that's what's going to come back to bite me in the end. I say as I missed three shots in a row. Jeez, hold on. Reset, reset. Uh, get a few extra points by repairing this. A little more from over here. Get no scope. All right. That's as much as it'll give us. Let's head on up. Shut up, Peck. Ooh, we're just farming the crits right now. I can't remember if this actually collapsed or not. So once we get a, a little bit of a group of zombies together, we can try it. Actually, right here, maybe. Nope. I can't aim. Oh, come on. There we go. Crazy. He's insane. He's wild. Oh, so close to getting that phase contract. Okay, I think we have enough to open these doors now. Pop this one open. Grind the rail, 360. Oh, that was clean! We take those. And we take this loose change. All right, starting her up. All right, really quick. Just want to point out my crit ratio is perfect. I mean, it's round four, but I'm going in with the Swiss. Oh, that was a clat. Easy. No. No, 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 no. Get away. Stop moving so much. There we go. We got our stroke camo. No, leave me alone. Oh, barely survived it. Okay, all right. This might be a little more difficult than I was anticipating. But we have our first reactor done. Let's go ahead and head on to the next one. Moving at a bit of a snail's pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snail's pace. Throw it one pack. Okay, second reactor is turned on. Loose change is grabbed. Zombie is headless. There's our wasteland camo. We're not too far behind from our crits to normal kills. And we get the acidic camo. Oh, easy collat. And that is the reactor. One more to go. Hit this rail. Oh, I'm crazy with the grinds today. But I'm noticing I only have two bullets left now. If I'm running out of ammo this fast with this thing, I'm going to be hemorrhaging points. Uh-oh. Especially if I'm missing shots like that. Guess I got to buy some ammo. Start this bad boy up. Let's get our crits in. Oh, the corrosion camo. As I make a sweet escape, it's looking like this only crits into two zombies, just like the ZRG, which is extremely unfortunate. This thing is so much faster than the ZRG. All right, and that is the reactor. Let's check our crits really quick. 65 out of 66. Not bad at all. Almost went completely perfect getting power on. All right, let's pack a punch this bad boy. Oh, let's go. It did what I thought I was going to do. Well, let's take a closer look at it. Honestly, with the blueprint on it, the first pack a punch camo doesn't look that bad. Because you still get the dude on it. it the gold-ish color kind of matches. It's all right on this one. I'll give it that. All right. Now it's the bunny Easter egg. Come on. There we go. Easy. All right, this is actually going to be pretty easy. We can go ahead and take this bunny out like right now. But we should also get a few extra kills while we got him. Oh, Mimic? Come on. We need to kill him for his ammo. There we go. Okay, the last bunny's up here. There's a Mimic right behind me. Mimic, fuck off. Please. Please. Almost. Almost. There we go. Let's get these crits right there. Oh, easy collat. All right. Goodbye, bunny. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Let's see it. Oh, a gold hour. That's not bad at all. Not using it, but it's not bad. Now, normally, I'll sit right here until I got enough to, like, get pack-a-punch and all my perks and all that. But with this gun, it is very dangerous, especially with these mimics running around. All right, let me reload. I want to see how many bullets I have in the mag normally. 30? That's not bad for a sniper. Not bad at all. And the pack-a-punch name is the Swiss KH-3353. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing a reference to something, but that, this might be the most... <laughs> like a lame back punch name. I'm sorry to say it for all you Swiss fans out there. But they are making it pretty easy to get these crits. 
All right, can we upgrade our gun at all? We can. Let's get a green, and that's it. Also, grab our first tier of armor since none is dropped. And I will get stamina up because I feel like I'm going to have to run a lot. And speed cola will probably help too. Oh, yeah. The bolt time is so much faster now. Honestly, this kind of feels like aim training. Oh, of course I say that as I miss the shot. But actually, I think doing something like this would help with your aim. It just helps you practice snapping to the dome. I know they're just zombies and all that, but it's got to transfer at least a little bit in the multiplayer. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Not with my aim. I just missed all three of those. I'm going to grab these stuns off the ground, too. Those are going to come in handy. Looks like I hit your kill switch. This is like eight times faster than a ZRG. Holy shit. Okay, we need quick revive just in case now. And I'm gonna grab cryo. You know how OP snipers would be in zombies if you could actually collapse through like more than like two zombies? Like if you could really just train up a whole pack and then shoot one bolt and take all of them out. Like snipers would go from like the least used weapons in zombies to maybe one of the most. I think that'd be pretty cool. Honestly, I haven't even thought about how I'm going to be able to grind this thing. Because I feel like in kernels, it's not going to last very long, me sitting up there. In our other spot we did with the street sweeper is definitely not going to work with this thing. So I think we have to go to the old method of just training around the helicopter. I mean, what I'm doing right here in village is, is fine. Oh, we need a frenzied guard. This is bad. Get away from me. Man, I almost got myself killed there. I love how in the middle of me saying it's fine to grind here, I instantly contradict myself and almost go down. But that's just the commentator's curse. Actually, I don't know. Maybe kernels will be good. There's just a, a nice long corridor I just have to aim in the same spot for. I feel like it'll work for a bit. Definitely will get overwhelmed pretty easy. Like once we start hitting the later rounds, I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. Dang, still no assault wave. Order must be tired of me showing up here and just clapping them. All right, we can get this to blue. I feel like a lot of this grind is just going to be me running away than turning around and shooting. But whatever gets the job done, I'd definitely rather do like two, maybe even three of these than do the ZRG again. There's our assault wave. And good thing we have enough to grab at least one more perk we can get meal kick and that's all we need for now and checking in on our crits 271 out of 312 still not very bad but that margin's only gonna get wider and we get the perfect assault wave beach for our sniper i love this spot up here <laughs> we're actually just picking them off all right we might as well hop down gotta actually protect this thing i guess all right let's frenzy guard you guys need to slow your roll frenzy guard is basically just like free crits the field upgrade Oh my god, every time I talk about crits, I immediately miss without fail. Or I guess with fail. You know what I mean. Easy assault wave. Now it's been a while since I've used a sniper against Orda. Hopefully it actually like does well. So I feel like we're definitely gonna be able to shoot him from the second he spawns. We can always shoot exactly where we want. I I I, I think we're gonna have a field day with him. But it makes me think, should I have Ring of Fire on? Just for like the extra bonus damage? Because I know I'm not gonna be able to shoot any faster than I already am. So like having it on for normal kills don't make like doesn't make that much sense. Okay. All right. All right, zombies. Let's relax here for a second. Let's talk about this. Okay, I'm leaving. I already have to leave kernels. It's round 14. It's all that Mimic's fault. I'm gonna blame the Mimic. Had I not had to use like three shots to kill him, it would have been smooth sailing up there. Yeah, I don't think kernels is gonna work, especially if I have to loop around every time I want to get back up. But just for old time's sake, we'll finish out the round here. Oh, fuck. I got a stun. Yeah, it is not safe up here. We're going to helipad. After we get a few crits, gotta make them work for me. I'm pretty sure this is what I did for like my other snipers besides the ZRGs, just loop around right here. It's a good thing I didn't open any of these extra doors. That would just slow some spawns down. Oh, come on, one more shot on the mangler. Let's go. Okay, let's train them up for a second. Get them all grouped together so no one's coming out and surprising me when I turn a corner. All right, we got a big old group. It's crit time. Some double points. We take those. Might as well hit the frenzy guard when we got double points just to ensure we get all the crits we need. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like a crit buffet. Easy stuff. And we have enough to get Pack-a-Punch too, so let's go do that. There we go. Let's take a quick look at it. It looks pretty really really good honestly this blue point is really nice for pack-a-punch camos honestly i like it a lot now we're back on the grind oh mimic go away Ooh, one shot the mimic i think we're done with all of our elite kills honestly this would have been a fun one to do our controller it's with that dead shot 
It's gonna be Crit City. Let's get them all grouped together again. Like a nice big family. And we'll hit this. Easy. Frenzied Guard is like a fucking cheat code. All right, now I think we have enough to upgrade this to pink. And somebody in the last video said, that's not pink. You must be colorblind. What fucking color is it? That's like a pink magenta type. What, what other color could it be? I honestly thought this challenge was gonna be a little harder. We're kind of just slapping the hell out of these zombies. Okay, now we're done with elites. There's our manic camo. Oh, we get an assault wave right away here. Not gonna make us wait until the mid 20s to get one. It's right away. Let's just grab the napalm strike because it's free. All right, let's snipe them. Easy. I'm gonna hold my crosshair right here until they're all past it. These guys are just standing still. Oh, they wanted to throw some shit at me. Easiest assault wave of my life. One more shot. There we go. Oh, wait, there's still more? Oh, well then. Still easy. No scoping demon. Why are they all throwing stuff at me? Stop that. Now they're all heading inside. Gone. Sleep. Easiest assault wave of my life. And while we're here, let's get armor tier three. And we're chilling. Okay. Frenzied guard. Trying to rack up our crits again. It's just so easy. Every time I say something's easy, then I start missing. I missed five shots on that one zombie. We're at our grudge camo. 750 kills. Did you just say Baka? Sussy Baka? All right, that's all our zombies for this round. We have more than enough to get Pack-a-Punch 3, so let's go grab that. And this is what the Swiss looks like with Pack-a-Punch 3 on it. Very beautiful weapon, very beautiful camo. You, you really can't beat Pack-a-Punch 3. All right, another Frenzied Guard. Mimic, please. Now is not the time. Got a lot of your friends to kill here. This is actually such a brainless grind right now. It's just running in circles, turn, shoot head. There's our 750 crits. Making good progress here. Oh my god, climb! Holy. Oof. I don't know what happened there. Did she just mock him? It's so it's so funny using like different operators coming back and playing zombies. So I've always used like the same two or three. And now that I'm using new ones, I'm hearing all these new voice lines. And some of them have like way more personality than the others. Jeez, you just love to see that wall of yellow text pop up. It just means we're eating good out here. Honestly, I don't get why people say sniper camos are the hardest to get in zombies. They're honestly not that bad. Just walk backwards and shoot. I mean, it's a little different from just standing in kernels and popping a ring of fire every once in a while. But that still is pretty effort. Effortless. Just kind of train them up and run around in a circle. Just aim for head. That's it. Unless they're just like lumping every sniper in with just how hard the ZRG is to get done. But like none of these even compare to how bad the ZRG is. This is so mind numbing. Okay, I guess if you want to if you want to factor in like a, a little bit of boredom to grinding snipers, sure. I guess I guess that makes them a little more difficult to do. But all this is getting me good at is turning and shooting. We're clearing these rounds like so well. Our crit ratio has fallen a little bit, but honestly not too far. But like this is this is pretty effortless, I would say. Okay, group them up a little bit. Get the frenzied guard. Get the stun on them. That is easy points. Look at this huge glob of zombies I just have right here. Now check this out. Gone. Sleep. Go to bed. Good night. Um other ways to say go to bed. Yeah, if you guys are grinding snipers. This has to be the best strat for it. Just loop around helipad, have frenzy guard, and then just go in. It is so effortless. We also have more than enough to get this thing to gold, so let's do that. And we are fully upgraded. We still have 92,000. So whenever we feel like we, we can't really handle these zombies anymore, we'll go ahead and grab elemental pop. All right, I know I've been harping on this the entire time saying how it's not difficult. But one thing I will say about it is it does take longer than the other weapons. It's because the sheer amount of crits you can get with like a fully automatic weapon, as opposed to something at the bolt every time you shoot, obviously the automatic weapon is going to be faster. But this still isn't isn't difficult like at all. Ooh, Ordo is wasting no time. He's coming right at round 30. I'm excited to see how this does against him. I think we're going to get some pretty hefty damage. Bring it on, Ordo. Come on down. I'm ready for you. I'm spawn camping. There we go. It's doing 6,000 damage per bullet. Oh my God. He's hardly even shown up yet. And we're already at like a quarter of his health away. Jeez, this thing is tearing him. I mean, a little slowly, but each bullet does so much. Oh, all of his zombie pals are coming. Get a few crits. Oh, hold on, he's prolapsing. Let's see how many... Oh, 11,000 per shot. You love to see it. He's already almost dead. We might as well just keep hitting him. Oh, wait. They're already doing so much damage to the Aether Reactor. They already took out the first part. Well, I guess if they'll just leave me alone, I'll take Order out right over here. 
There we go. That was so easy. He didn't even get to step foot in here. Okay, well, maybe one foot, but that's it. Just one. Put a few crits on him while he's passing away. Easy. Get owned, Orda. Get teabag, too. Snipers are just <laughs> so good against him. He doesn't know what to do. All right, now let's see if we can get this done before he shows up again. Because you know he doesn't want that smoke. I see these huge groups of zombies here, and sometimes I wonder how I'm not colliding them. Because you think if I get one headshot, one of the 40 other zombies behind him is going to get hit in the head too. But it seems like it only collats when it wants to collat. And by the way, bloodshed camo, we're almost there. So I've said it once, I'll say it again. Manglers only exist to fuck up your trains. All they do is shoot their little blast at your entire train, knock like half of them over, and then it's all split up and it's all wild. It, they're just annoying to deal with. I would definitely use Frenzied Guard way, way more. If it refilled just like, even like 5% faster. It seems like I only get one like every other round. It takes so much to fill this field upgrade up. There we go. There's our dredge camo. 1500 pack-a-punch kills. My brain has become mush. I've been doing the same thing for like almost an hour. Well, I might as well just buy tombstones and it's right here. And we have all this money. No, Mimic, why do you always grab me during my frenzied guard? Not cool. There's our threshold camo. 1,500 crits. We're almost there. There's 1,000 away. You know what I haven't done this entire time is attempt a trick shot. So I'm going to do it on this crawler. Hold on. Nope. Come on, crawler. Come over here. Out in the open. Goodbye, crawler. Oh, come on. I just Goomba stomped him. One more. There we go. And it was a crit. Perfect. You know what? I take it all back. This grind sucks. It's very boring. No, no, no. No. How am I so good at cornering myself? All right, it's round 38. Let's check on our crits. We have 1,814 out of out of 2,158. Really, really good ratio, honestly. I thought I was going to fall off even more than that. But we've been holding it down. No matter how boring this has been to grind, we're doing it very efficiently. No way. That crawler just took eight hits to the head. And I didn't even get a crit for it. I feel like I've been doing this for years. It's been an hour and 40 minutes. And all I've been doing is running in circles and shooting heads. I already said I take it all back, but I take it all back again. This is a painful grind. It's so time consuming. This is ridiculous. I feel like I'm like 40 now. My 401k is going good. I got three grandchildren. My entire life has gone by. Oof. We've made it all the way to round 40. 2,392 eliminations, 2,017 crits. Still a very, very good ratio. And it looks like we're gonna have to fight Orda at least one more time. Oh! Frenzy guard! Oof, that was so bad. I think I might be like top in the world at just cornering myself for no reason. Put me on the leaderboard. Oh, there's our rotten camo. We're done with all normal eliminations. Pack a punch probably not too far behind it. No, 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 no. Stun, go! No! Oh, my first down. Come on, I can get up. Come on. Let me get him. Looks like it's not happening. Gotta use a self-revive. I really desperately need to buy one back then because there's no way I'm restarting. With only 400 crits left, I refuse. Well, that's gotta be the worst part about Frenzy Guard is because if you're using it just to rack up crits like I am, you don't really have it to fall back on if you, you messed up and get yourself cornered. Because 90% of the time, this thing is gonna be recharging. You know, let's just go do it right away. We'll head through the portal. There's very low spawns right now, so that means we can go right here, support. There we go. Self-revive is back. We are safe. And I know I'm just gonna go down if I stay here. So I'm going right back through. And then once this round's over, we get our perks back and then Orda will probably be here. It's so bad not having jug and not having armor. If I go to grab either of those things, they're just gonna knock me over. I just have to survive until there's a safe enough time to grab it. But man, I'm really missing dead shot here. I'm not doing nearly as much damage. Okay, let's do a little stun. Oh, come on. It's done again. Oh, we're just gonna take the nuke. We just gotta take the nuke. I'm giving my perks back now. This is too dangerous. Activate Frenzied. Let's grab everything now, including armor. Oh, it's already back from Frenzied. Let's go. All right, we didn't get a chance to use it to rack up some more crits, but at least we're safe now. We have our perks back. We have our self revive back. We are not doing the mistake of completely dying before we can get our crits done because it'll take another 30 rounds to get up to, to 400 crits. All right, and there's our Pack-A-Punch camo right on time for Orta to show up. Come on in, Orta. Time for round two of your ass kicking. 
Still only doing the same amount of damage, but it is chunking his health pretty good. Okay, let's get a few crits too. We're not just here for Orda. Oh, let's go. Where are these shots going? If not right at him. Excuse me? We didn't get a chance to, you know, abuse his crit spot. That's kind of stupid. Okay, they're giving me a little trouble this time. We got Orda around the half health. Uh-oh. They might take out our reactor before I can kill Orda. Might as well get some crits out of it. Oh, yeah, it is so low. Hold on. Toss a nade in here. Oh, and his crit's opening up for us. Or he's giving us another shot. No, Mimic. Oh, my God. That actually kind of scared me. I don't think this thing fires nearly fast enough as we needed to. Yeah, Orda's already here ready to eat it up. Okay. You win this round, Orda. Oh, shit. You just ascended. All right, well, we tried. He wins one, we win one. You know, we'll, we'll call this one even. Definitely would have killed him if I had, uh, you know, a little more time. If I could shoot a little faster. But, you know, can't beat them all. Come on. Give me these crits. You know what? Now that I think about it, Frenzy Guard is kind of just like the, the bullet time thing. Like Deadeye in, in Red Dead Redemption. It gives you a little extra time to make those shots. Oh, we're at 2,420 crits. Shout out weed. Weed, 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 weed. Fuck, I stunned myself. Oh, we're so close. I'm 25 away. Awful time for Shatter Blast. Is that it? There we go. We're finally done. All right, zombies, take me out. Go ahead. Eat up. You earned it. Oh, man. That took two hours. I'm looking right now, two hours and 12 minutes to get all that done. Jeez. So the snipers aren't hard at all to do. Just very mind numbing and time consuming. Because we just hit 2,500 crits. We're 500 eliminations behind, but that was also ramped up from our elemental pop. From hellhounds blowing up and getting kills with their fire and all that. But overall, we were very efficient on getting our crits and our eliminations. Only went down twice. Uh, one was intentional. So overall, this I would say this was a, a, a success. We did this pretty well lots and lots of levels jeez and we got almost every camo i think actually we did get every single camo we didn't have any going into this and now let's take a look at what the swiss looks like with the mastery camos on it here's gold viper honestly this one's all right i like that it covers the whole scope there's a lot to look at here very nice plague diamond very good it's almost all diamonds which is nice and dark aether looks really sick uh, I wish the other snipers had as good as coverage as this, but Swiss really blowing it out of the park on this one. Let's go see what it looks like in game. All right, here's what the Swiss looks like in game with Dark Aether. And honestly, this has to be one of the best looking guns in the game with this camo. It's just so clean, whole lot of coverage. You get a whole lot of that nice light pink, light purple. And just the fact that it goes on the scope is just a really nice touch. I, I like this weapon a lot. And now if I want to go make like a quick scoping class with the Swiss, I can flex the camo. It's just a good time. But I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We put all kinds of COD content throughout the week. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.